So I just wanted to make a very diverse reef to prove to people that it can be done this simple. Power by Ecotech. Hello guys, this is Victor with Worldwide Corals. Today I'm going to be showing you guys this project that I've been working on. It's this Pico tank. It's about 3.2 gallon tanks. And I'm going to show you all the drama, all the dilemmas, and all the success that I've encountered in the past five months. I'm very happy with it. It's a nice peninsula tank. It's very simple, so I'm going to show you all the details. Here we go. I wanted the challenge of a small Pico tank. I think it's just kind of cozy. It's kind of nice to be able to get corals to grow in such a small environment. So that was the main reason for choosing a, a Pico tank. That was the benefits that I saw, that they can actually fit in your, in your desk. One of the things that I wanted to do was to create an environment with a little bit of almost everything. Uh, we have a um, euphilia, we have a um, hammer coral, we have a frog spawn, we have a torch. We have mushrooms, we have humus, we have zoanthids, we have uh, ricordias, we have acroporas, montiporas, candy canes, leathers, rock nymphs. So I just wanted to make a very diverse reef to prove to people that it can be done this simple. Even with minimal equipment, if you guys notice, I don't even have a heat in there because the, the room is pretty much temperature control, you know. Um, it's got a power head and, a, and just a hang-on filter that is just got a simple sponge inside. But you know what I noticed? I didn't put any aggressive corals other than the, I guess, the torch for the most part. There's no fabias in here. There's no platygyras, you know. As you guys can see, the torch, I put it higher than the other core, so hopefully it wouldn't sting anything, but it's just so happy as of lately that it's, it's reaching all over the place, you know, so. So what's the light you have on the tank? Uh, it's an aqua illumination. Um, I'm just following a basic schedule that one of my co-workers gave me, you know, nothing special, you know, but I'm in love with the lights more than enough. The lights are on from, I want to say, 7.30 in the morning till about 6.30 in the afternoon, about 11 hours. I rely on just doing water changes once a week. I do change about 75% of the tank. I make it all the way to where the uh, hammer and the frog spawn is on the bottom. And basically, I clean the glass maybe three or four times a week. I don't dose anything. I don't put any food in the tank. There's no fish. I think there's like two or three hermit crabs around and maybe a few snails. That's about it. Oh my gosh, yeah, there's this goniopora that I don't know if you guys can see from the other side. It is red with the most yellow centers you have uh, you guys have ever seen. And next to it is just this highlighter goniopora that is green with neon, neon green slash yellow on the inside. I have them, both of them side by side. Obviously, I got them on the side where I see from because I want to see them every day. And I love most of them, but yeah, my favorite ones will have to be those two goniopores. Tell you the truth, uh, it's getting me back into my own personal tank. So I was talking to Lou and Ryan, my business partners the other day, and I told them maybe we should get a bigger tank here in the office with a small frag tank to do like the most rare or the most rare or the most rare of everything, you know? And I mean, for this tank, it's, much, it's hard to think of much in the future because as, as you guys can see, the minute the corals grow a half an inch, they're reaching the coral next to them because I went a little overkill and put in so many corals, but I love the the variety, you know, the color, the color contrast that they all give you when you put a pink next to a blue and a yellow and a red and a green. It's just amazing, you know, and that's why I went with so many corals. And I make sure that the corals that I put next to each other, they can actually touch each other, except for the torch that I mentioned earlier, or without stinging each other, I should say, because corals eventually, they, they can touch each other, but they can still kill each other by growing over one another. But it's a different story when one coral stings the other, you know? I always say this, if your tank is not clean, you kind of don't like it. You almost I'll clean it tomorrow, I'll clean the salt creep tomorrow, the glass is dirty, who cares, or I'll pull that dead coral tomorrow, or I'll trim that coral, or I'll kill that aptasia tomorrow. But when the coral is pristine and all the corals are thriving and growing, and the glass is clean, you can't help it to be mesmerized and you can sit there for hours just looking. I mean, sometimes I have to get out of the zone. I almost need like a blanket over it when I'm trying to concentrate to work, like, okay, no more reef. So some of the bigger challenges that I had in this tank will have to be, let me think, space is one. Uh, aquascape in it, uh, the aquascape that I did originally had one more rock. And the problem is it looked great, but I couldn't even fit my fingers in there to work every time something fell. And the problem with that is that then you don't want to work in the tank when it becomes hard to access the tank. 
And just understanding the tank, the challenge change, like I said, just at first I, I thought that maybe doing one or two water changes, it was going to do the job, and I was only doing 20%, and it wasn't doing the job, and then I realized that the tank is just too small and the filtration wasn't good enough, so then I rely on a bigger water change once a week instead of doing one or two small ones, and that seemed to uh, fix some of the challenges that I had. It's a great way to start with the Pico tank. It's not the way that I certainly started 20-something years ago. I started with a 75-gallon tank, but back then, Pico tanks weren't a thing. They were starting to be certain people. There was something, the, the Oceanic BioQ back then, 29-gallon tank. I had one of those 10, 15 years ago. But anyhow, I wanted you guys to see my Pico tank. I'm very proud of it. I'm, I'm, I'm being successful with it. And I wanted to share it with you guys. I'll be seeing you guys soon.